Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We have been uh, uh, discussing uh, the uh, evolution of uh, olefin polymerization catalyst and in that uh, way uh, we have uh, drifted quite a bit. Uh, we started with uh, uh, Ziegler Nata heterogeneous uh, 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 titanium zirconium group 4 transition metal based uh, catalyst uh, 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 which are multi site catalyst with extremely high uh, activity for ethylene homopolymerization as well as uh, uh, propylene homopolymerization and then gradually drifted towards uh, metal uh, group 4 transition uh, metal based uh, metallocene type single site catalyst uh, which were extremely uh, well behaved in terms of provide, uh, being able to polymerize uh, uh, homopolymerize ethylene as well as that propylene and also uh, show extremely high activity depending on the modification of the uh, transition metal uh, group 4. Uh, metallocene uh, catalyst and then subsequently we went into uh, look uh, went uh, towards looking for copolymerization of uh, various kinds of olefinic monomer and subsequently copolymerization with uh, 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 monomer bearing functional groups. Uh, now uh, in that uh, aspect too uh, uh, we had uh, moved over from group 4 transition metal catalyst uh, Retinium, zirconium, hafnium, and then went on to discuss about other metals, for example, lanthanide uh, uh, based uh, olefin polymerization catalyst, and which we had seen that even though uh, they uh, can polymerize olefins, but they cannot compare in terms of activity with respect to uh, group 4 uh, transition metals. Now, in this uh, comparison of looking for other non group transition metal uh, matching up to uh, the activity of the group 4 transition metal uh, uh, contribution by uh, Brookhart and uh, um, Gibson uh, um, uh, was discussed in the uh, last uh, uh, lecture in which uh, uh, iron catalyst uh, uh, which is a non group 4 transition metal showed extremely high activity in terms of olefin polymerization. Uh, and it could give a range of products depending on the substituents going from oligomer all the way to the polymer. And this was a tremendous uh, 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 discovery in terms of putting uh, iron back into the uh, polymerization uh, map uh, uh, of uh, uh, in olefin polymerization and iron being uh, the most abundant metal on the earth being cheap and economically viable. Uh, this is a great news for people who uh, are exploring uh, uh, iron based uh, catalysis. So, uh, in the last class uh, we had uh, uh, seen uh, uh, this uh, the catalyst uh, which is drawn over here. Ethylene when R equals methyl and R dash equals hydrogen, oligomer alpha olefin C10 to C20 fraction. Uh, produce high density uh, polyethylene. Uh, poly now, uh, uh, this uh, uh, and uh, the activity comparable to uh, Ziegler not a catalyst. 
So, uh, this is a, a great news in terms of uh, 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 the, uh, the chemistry uh, and, uh, uh, and in terms of developing iron as a catalyst. This uh, in short is designated by N N N um, F E C L 2 slash M A O, o catalyst. Uh, now, uh, in this, uh, the interesting thing is that uh, uh, in uh, in this uh, uh, the uh, the chemistry uh, that chain termination uh, competes uh, uh, with uh, 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 the chain growth, and that is uh, uh, shown over uh, here. So, uh, N N N. F E plus polymer hmm. uh, with uh, ethylene uh, gives N N N F E polymer and ethylene with iron in the plus state. Uh, then uh, this will come and insert, uh, which will then uh, give N N N F E polymer with F E plus. So this is a, a chain growth, uh, whereas this has uh, three chain termination pathways as well. So, this is a uh, chain growth, chain growth reaction and uh, it has uh, three chain uh, uh, termination pathways as is shown here. The first one is this will bind to the ethylene and one can have N, N, N iron polymer bound to ethylene. It has a hydrogen and it can beta uh, beta hydrogen uh, can eliminate and become a iron hydride and that can insert into uh, the thing. So, that can eliminate propene this moiety and then it can give N N N F E plus hydrogen uh, uh, which can again undergo uh, ethylene uh, to give uh, chain growth. Hmm. Hmm. Chain uh, uh, growth. So, this, this mechanism is sort of a, a chain termination mechanism. Uh, but uh, giving rise to chain growth. There are other possibilities as well, which is shown here. So, this with uh, Me 3 Al trimethyl aluminum or MaO uh, would give this complex N N N Fe plus polymer Al methyl. Uh, uh, so, in this uh, case what uh, uh, this is that uh, a trifluoro trichloro aluminum unit uh, 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 this is in methyl is interacting with iron hmm. 
uh, and as a result uh, there is a chain transfer that happens. Chain transfer and this kicks out polymer AL ME2 and uh, uh, this methyl gets uh, transferred uh, to iron from aluminum uh, and uh, the unit which goes out is this. As a result what stays behind on the catalyst is Fe plus methyl and that uh, uh, with ethylene again goes to chain growth. And so what is interesting over here that uh, here we have chain growth uh, which leads to uh, uh, the growth of the polymer chain and here we have uh, this chain termination mechanisms. This is mechanism number 1, this is mechanism number 2 both uh, also uh, 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 leading to uh, chain growth. So, as a result uh, uh, the catalyst uh, gives a uh, uh, very high uh, yield uh, high molecular weight polymers and then there, uh, this is not the second one there is also a third one uh, uh, which is a possible third pathway chain termination uh, and that is uh, uh, given by uh, this. Uh, uh, so, uh, this uh, uh, gives a uh, uh, n n n if a plus hydrogen uh, polymer uh, uh, that uh, 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 undergoes associative exchange. Uh, and as a result what happens is olefin uh, comes in and propane uh, goes out as is shown to give N N N F E plus uh, hydrogen uh, in base and this uh, in presence of uh, olefin again uh, gives uh, chain growth. So, uh, what we have over here are three chain termination pathways. Uh, uh, th this is pathway number 1, this is pathway 2 and pathway 3. All the termination pathway eventually in presence of olefin uh, giving to, uh, chain growth and this is in addition to the normal chain growth pathway. So, this is a wonderful uh, catalyst which because of these reasons could match up uh, to the activity of that uh, uh, Ziegler-Nata system and could carry out uh, uh, polymerization. And we have seen that how uh, uh, chain uh, growth help uh, uh, in producing uh, longer uh, catalyst. Now, uh, we have moved from now we move and go beyond uh, iron and we move to uh, nickel. Uh, uh, from here and we had seen uh, that how the uh, story sort of started with uh, nickel, uh, uh, how the story sort of started with uh, uh, nickel in terms of uh, the, uh, the, uh, the nickel effect uh, which sort of uh, uh, helped uh, uh, in uh, discovery of the Ziegler-Nata catalyst and then uh, it went back a complete cycle, circle from nickel to titanium, zirconium to lanthanum to iron and then it again goes back to uh, uh, nickel uh, and uh, well, now we are going to be uh, talking about how nickel uh, can be used uh, for producing polyolefin uh, polymers and uh, the credit goes to Professor Maurice Bruchart. Uh, who uh, used a, a bulky system uh, uh, of the type shown that could produce a, 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 a polymer. And the, uh, the ligand are of two types, one is
this or or this. So, this is a bulky uh, system uh, and we can uh, in short uh, we can designate this as this ligand. What this list, uh, ligand does is that in its nickel complex, uh, in ether at minus uh, 78 degrees centigrade in presence of H protonating agent EF4, it eliminates methane uh, to give uh, this compound. And then is the uh, ether solvent iterated here for so this is the counter ion and uh, with uh, protein it could give a polypropylene of n and uh, the same uh, he could also start instead of the methyl, he, he could uh, also start it from the nickel dibromide precursor uh, using MAO 1000 equivalent tolvin uh, with uh, uh, isopropane. R, uh, it can uh, R can be hydrogen, methyl, butyl. It could uh, also produce uh, the same uh, uh, same pa uh, pathway. Uh, so uh, the uh, this is one can uh, think of uh, this as uh, uh, pathway one, and this is uh, pathway two. Uh, the polymer produced by pathway one. pathway 1 are uh, high branching high uh, branching whereas polymer is produced in pathway 2 uh, uh, gives a high grade linear polymer uh, and uh, 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 one can uh, one can uh, sort of uh, uh, control uh, uh, the, uh, the grades of the polymer depending on the conditions uh, uh, used or pathway uh, uh, follows. So in one case, one can get high grade uh, linear polymer. In another case, one can get highly branched uh, uh, polymer. So uh, this was uh, a nice work where uh, Bruchart uh, also uh, uh, put uh, nickel in the map for making polymers because nickel uh, uh, the whole business started off with uh, nickel uh, uh, being in the nickel effect uh, setting it off and then nickel known in shop where it was mainly used for oligomerization catalyst 
it is uh, however Professor Bruchert's work which made uh, nickel uh, uh, to uh, come into the map of olefin polymerization and it also uh, convincingly demonstrated that how uh, nickel uh, can be used even to make uh, polymers. And uh, nickel uh, being a late transition metal, uh, it has a propensity to chain work during the polymerization and that is what is explained by branching uh, that is uh, observed. Now, uh, continuing further uh, a nice work by Professor uh, uh, Bazan uh, uh, took uh, nickel to uh, uh, a much uh, higher heights where uh, he used uh, two catalysts uh, uh, working in tandem uh, to produce uh, um, high molecular uh, with polypropylene. So, this is a, a property a which uses uh, two catalyst transition metal one is uh, nickel and another is uh, titanium to produce a polymer in a tandem fashion and this is nicely uh, demonstrated uh, illustrated over here. Uh, so, Bazan uh, uh, in 2000 uh, demonstrate uh, showed used uh, nickel in combination with constraint geometry geometry titanium catalyst to produce poly ethylene co uh, polymer of one butene. Uh, uh, the big good thing is that this is a co polymer process uh, uh, with only one monomer which is ethylene. Uh, so, this uh, is a kind of a phenomenal uh, work, uh, uh, let me illustrate why. Uh, uh, first of all uh, that uh, it uses two catalysts, one is nickel, another is uh, constraint geometry titanium catalyst, two catalysts uh, producing a copolymer of ethylene and one butene. Uh, but uh, uh, the catch is that uh, there is only one uh, monomer which is ethylene. So, one catalyst is used first uh, to convert uh, uh, ethylene uh, to uh, butene and then the second catalyst, the first catalyst is nickel which used ethylene to uh, butene and then the second catalyst uh, titanium uh, sort of uh, polymerizes uh, uh, the bu uh, butene and ethylene uh, to give uh, this copolymer uh, 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 ethylene uh, CO1 butene. So, this is a beautiful, beautiful elegant uh, demonstration of organometallic chemistry. It also shows how uh, 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 clear thinking uh, uh, can lead to wonderful catalyst uh, 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 development uh, where two catalysts are made to work in a tandem. Let me illustrate this uh, more specifically with the catalyst that were uh, being used. The first catalyst is obviously a nickel catalyst uh, which has which is of the formula uh, this Uh, this uh, is a nickel allyl complex uh, that is activated with uh, boron C6F5 O3. Uh, this uh, uh, the catalyst converts ethylene to 1 butene. Now, this 1 butene. Uh, uh, then reacts uh, with uh, maybe I will do it with a different color. The one butene uh, then reacts with another molecule of ethylene and undergoes a copolymerization using a constraint geometry catalyst.
titanium, methyl plus and this is a boron C 6 A 5 whole 3 minus. Uh, so, it does this does the copolymerization to produce M N L L D P. Uh, so, uh, the good thing is uh, uh, that uh, this uh, the in this case uh, two catalyst two catalyst titanium and uh, 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 two catalyst titanium and uh, 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 nickel uh, work in tandem uh, 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 tandem uh, 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 in same medium uh, in same medium uh, 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 um, on single substrate on one substrate which is ethylene to produce LLDP uh, uh, which is uh, this. So, this is a tremendous uh, a demonstration of uh, the capabilities of organometallic uh, chemistry in which uh, this LLDP e, uh, was produced and uh, depending on uh, the variation uh, of the conditions one can control the chain length uh, and the molecular weight uh, and depending uh, on the and the incorporation extent also of two different by varying the nickel to titanium ratio. It should also be mentioned that uh, this uh, the two catalyst nickel and titanium are not interfering uh, with each other. So, with this uh, we come to the end of today's uh, 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 lecture where uh, we had uh, seen uh, the catalyst development uh, from iron uh, uh, Gibson's catalyst to Brookhart's nickel the focus shifting from iron to nickel and what it uh, says that uh, there are lot of chemistry even uh, left with the other transition metal other than non group 4 transition metal and in this uh, case nickel and iron indeed uh, showed uh, uh, did uh, prove their strength in terms of uh, uh, doing wonderful chemistry uh, and the last example by Bazan uh, where uh, tandem reaction between uh, uh, nickel and the constraint geometry titanium group 4 catalyst uh, took uh, to a polymerization to a different level. So, with this we come to an end of today's lecture we are going to uh, dwell a bit more on non metallous uh, non group 4 transition metals uh, when we take up the topic in more detail in the next class. Uh, till then thank you and goodbye. Thank you.